Mrs. Peach, Thrifty Hacks here. I'm making Scotty dogs for my little great grandsons for Christmas. I've made three so far, and I thought I would take you along with me to show you how I made it. I'm going to just do it in little steps here because it's easy, but kind of involved. So I want to show you, I'm going to take this down. I'm using my husband's bright colored t-shirts. So I'm excited about that. And I'm going to turn this down where you can see what I'm doing here at out of there. And hopefully keep this same. Now I'm doing two inch and I've already turned this around wrong. So let's start over the way. I like it to cut everything from the right. I'm doing two inch and you see this is two inches right here, two inches. And I'm putting it down at the two inch mark all the way to the edge. And I'm not sure you can even still see that. Let's hope that stays in there. Okay. And I've got my little um, rotary cutter. And I'm cutting. Just cut away. And hopefully, if it's sharp enough, once in a while, these blades do get a little bit, um, get a little uh, dull. So you have to replace them every once in a while. So I'm going to start right here, and I hope you can still see me. I'm going to start right here, and I've got two inch. And I'm doing this in all of the different colors. You can see, got my little two inch squares. I already have several cut out, and I'm going to be cutting out more. I have all different colors, and I'm just pulling out some of them. And he, this is more shirts, more of the shirts I'm going to be cutting more squares on today. I have different colors of red. Whenever I look in the camera, it looks almost the same. But this will make a beautiful one, and I'm, I'm looking forward to showing you. And I'm going to stop this part and show you the next step. I drew out just looking at different internet sites showing the Scotty dog and I the original one I seen it said three inches but this one it was so big when I laid it out I cut the the squares down to two inch and you can see I have 29 squares so you can see you need it for the front and the back and then all the way around the sides I'm going to show you how I laid this one out you can lay them at however you choose to lay them I'm going to move that aside and see if I can move this up without making you too dizzy here to get it, it all in. Now, what I did, and I did this wrong, and good thing I was making more than one of these dogs because when I sewed these together, I took, let's see if I can show you, I took it and sewed it all the way, you know, like to put the seam this way. I, I did each line that this way. And then when I, I started to do the back side, I sewed it the same way, so I, the seams would have been the wrong way. So you have to be sure and flip it. And I'm going to stop here and show you the next step. And all the few, I won't keep you, because everybody, if you know how to sew a straight line on the sewing machine, you'll be okay. And I like to make sure I don't have to, to um, have these... I want to line them up as I want to line these up as much as possible and I I really like to do them in a whole row where I can see what I'm doing here and I'm going to just put this back over here where I had it then I'm going to start here take these two together I haven't quite figured out, and then I want to remember that I've got the orange against the blue when I get up there to the next one. And the more of them you can get sewed together, this, this is just, um, just simple sewing little ones together, little squares. And I'm going to take these two. The main thing is, is I mean, if you had it all one color or didn't make any difference how you was 
going. Now, see, I had an orange against the blue, so I'm going to do that. And then I'll have the red against the orange over there. And I'm, I don't want to just uh, bore you with all this sewing, but I want you to see how this is going here. And see, I've already got it myself mixed up. And see, you see that time I just pulled my thread out a little bit to put the other one in. And then I'll, I will have had almost a whole row done. I have the orange left to do. I mean, the purple. Okay. Now I'm going to pull that out a little more and get this purple one in here. And then I'll have one whole row finished. And then I can join the, the, the one part here together. And you see, let's see, got my scissors handy here, way up here. I'm going to cut this little thread because I just joined them where I didn't have to keep using so much, uh, if you can really just do a chain, then you really are really on a roll here. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it this way and get my little, my little pattern because I keep forgetting. These two are the same. You can see they, they match up together. So now I'm going to sew these two together. I can take these two and sew them together and I will have the first part of my I guess you'd say the nose of my dog the nose and the eyes of my dog this is only two squares here so I'm sewing these two squares to this right here I'm gonna bring this needle down here and I think probably by that you probably have an idea and that's what I wanted you to, to see is the idea of how this is going and I'm going to put this right back here, and we have the first row then. Now, I've got to bring it down here, because remember, I've got the little, the little, um, that would be the ear. And the back sewn, all ready to, to, uh, I want to combine it together with my long strip of blocks that I've already sewed. It may not be enough, but when I get near the end, I can decide to, to add some more onto it. So this is the tail of the doggy, and I'm going to put, I'm going to just show you how I'm putting this. This is going to all pin, be pinned clear around here, and you know, they have the little corners, so you have to turn the corner here. I'm going to pin this here where... I'm turning this corner because it, remember it's only one block so and then I have to turn the corner back around this other way and I hope I'm not covering my my using my hand to cover you up here okay now I have two blocks here you see I have two blocks here that I'm going to be um, putting the pins on before I turn to go back up to that's the ear I gotta unfold this I don't normally keep these together but I wanted you to see how I'm doing this and I think I'm gonna pin this a little bit you have to make sure you get these all of it sewed in because one of these I didn't do that way and at the end I ended up uh, having to do some little tacking here and there to make sure everything was sewn together so you see now I'm going up that up to the ear part and I'm going to stop there because I don't want to wear you out here. I have this all pinned together now. You really need to watch as you go around it. I'm holding this different. And you see all the different little corners that you have to come by. Here and here and then back up this way. So it works. And it turns out cute. I'm getting close. It's sewed together. You can see how I did here. I've, I've uh, left the opening right here. 
it's got to be spread out a little bit more and tucked all the way around. You can see both sides. And um, next, next step is stuffing it. I have Scotty Dog all sewed up except this little spot. I use that to turn him inside out. And now I'm going to stuff him. If you if you uh, stuff him in all the little legs in the and the nose and the ears and everything first, and then go to the body, then um, that makes it easier. And I will be back when I get him all stuffed. I got the Scotty dog all stuffed now. I stuffed him right here. And you can see I'm folding, I, I'm pinning this in just a little bit to um, get ready to tack this together. I'm just going to pin one right here. I did two of them already. I had to wait on the train to go by and then I heard the neighbor's dog barking. So who knows, hopefully that's all a thing of the past. And whoops, about to stick myself here. Okay, now you can see I've got that pinned together. And if you'll notice, I want to show you when I was saying about making sure you you see that. I'm going to have to go in and tack that a little bit. And just, I'll have to double check to make sure all of it is completely. And I think that might be the only one. So I'm going to just start this and then I, I will come back and show you how I do the eye and the ribbon. And this will be a done dog, and this will be my, this will be number four dog that I've did. I, I'd like to put my, I've already, I've already got the knot in my needle. And I'm, I'm just using just white thread because I'm making this where it's, okay, now I'm just tuck that in where you don't see that. I hope I'm showing you where you can see this. And then you just bring it from side to side. I see this little um little pin those uh, with the big uh, little little um thing on the end of the head on it is is nice but sometimes they get in the way too so i'm just going to go back and forth on this and um i'll be back to show you the next step i have my eye ready to sew on I do a little circle here with that little chalk things that, I mean, the chalk that you can draw on things, on fabric or whatever. And if you have little kids that you're not worried about them, or a little older, that uh, you're not worried about them getting a button stuck in their mouth or whatever, you could just sew a button on here. But the ones I'm giving it to are very little, so I... I what I'm doing is I'm going to embroidery all the way around this, although I won't keep you here for that length of time. And then after I get it embroidered all the way around, I'm going to do a satin stitch in the middle of it. And this is where I'm going to stop this. I did a ribbon. Actually, I want to show you real fast the ribbon, how I did the ribbon. I, I cut a piece of of the t-shirt and just cut it in a little narrow narrow right here and then I just stretched it and look what it made I only learned that not long ago and I just think that's the neatest thing you've seen now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to stop this I'm gonna show you my others that I have made and also let me move this back in the picture and also, I want to tell you that if you don't have any money for little gifts for little kids for Christmas, this you can make all kinds of things like this. It doesn't have to be in the shape of this. You can draw out what you want it and just sew the front and back on and stuff it with my my filler that I got for this. I got it at a thrift store for two dollars. But sometimes you can I mean you can buy it at Walmart or wherever. And you can stuff a lot of toys and little uh, dolls with just one bag. So I just want to encourage you. You can still have a wonderful Christmas. Give good gifts. And I'm going to show you my little dollies at the end. And then I 
Thank you for joining me. And if you know anybody that would like this, uh, share it with them. I would love that. And come back. I do all kinds of things. I'm doing cooking. We have music. And and I have just several things I'm going to be showing you that I've done for years. So I hope you have a wonderful day. And God bless you. Okay, here are four of my Three of them are complete. This one down here is the one I've been showing you how to make. I still need to do the ribbon on that one. And thank you again for joining me. Here it is.